Recently, the Education Ministry issued a warning to all unlicensed schools not to reopen their schools tomorrow until they meet all the requirements to get a license. Since 2015, Bridge International Academies has been grappling to acquire the necessary requirements to license 63 schools across the country. The country director of Bridge International Academies, Morrison Rakakamba, told the NTV that they have secured all the approvals from all the districts and submitted their applications to the Ministry for Licensing. Bridge falls into that category because we have already submitted over 41 files into the Ministry of Education that are just waiting, a stamp, waiting for a stamp, waiting to be endorsed. A defiant Rakakamba says, come tomorrow, the schools will be opened. The schools shall be open, and the, I have told you that there is a, there is a clarity we received uh, from the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education. However, NTV has obtained a copy of the letter authored by Dr. Daniel Inkada on behalf of the Permanent Secretary, Alex Kakosa, warning bridge schools not to reopen. Last month, the Permanent Secretary, Alex Kakosa, met owners of private schools and assured them that they will not be closed if they have already fulfilled the requirements. If there is any evidence that you have already started that process and come that far, no one is going to close you. By the time it comes to us, it has already been, you know, perceived uh, by the local government or wherever uh, you are, and no one can close you. For us, that is important. It gave hope to our parents, and our parents are preparing to make sure that these children are not disrupted. However, the State Minister for Primary Education, Rosemary Seninde, this afternoon insisted that all unlicensed schools, including Bridge, should remain shut. We have already sent circulars to all schools and to all districts to not to allow any school that does not have a license. Whether it is Bridge School or any other school, as long as it is a school without... Actually, we don't even regard those as schools if it doesn't have the minimum, if it doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Then it's not a school. A school inspection report that is fully stamped and endorsed by the district inspector of schools. We didn't just stop there. We also have our schools verified and endorsed by, the, uh, by NEMA, which is the National Environment Management Authority. We have health inspection reports, all of them stamped. So we have occupation permits uh, from the districts. On Thursday this week, lawmakers pleaded with government to extend the period for licensing, but government rejected their plea. The schools being closed are illegal, don't have the basic requirements and minimum standards to provide appropriate quality education to our citizens. If UPE schools are not meeting the standards, they should be closed. If private schools are not meeting the standards, they should be closed. So it's not a bridge issue, uh, it's a broader issue. Uh, perhaps there is need for you know, more engagement in terms of making sure that these licenses uh, are cleared. Let the schools be given uh, enough time, this time since the parliament is involved, we cannot be giving them the extension for them to continue benefiting from this illegality. We think it is unfair. As we talk about uh, we must close the schools, we must also understand the dynamics involved as far as education in Uganda is concerned. And with the bridge intervention, you realize if you look at our results for the past, uh, the, the period of 2017, all our children passed at 100% rate. You know, they passed. Some of them have, admit, have been admitted to legendary and powerful schools like Nabsunsa. Bridge International Academies operates 63 schools across the country with a total population of 14,000 pupils. They employ over 1,000 Ugandans and contribute 400 million shillings in taxes every year. They say the owners have invested over 36 billion shillings. Jingo Francis, NTV.